All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but okay, John, thank you. Um, we're out at MPK this weekend, and um, I was leaving out this morning, and I got a phone call from Connor because Connor and Keegan got home late last night. Connor got home at 11, Keegan got home around 1, and um, apparently we got robbed around 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Her cameras caught it, and we shut off all the camera alerts, so she wasn't so annoyed this weekend. And sorry for my hoarse voice, I was yelling this weekend a little bit. So, uh, long story short, I'm going to reach out to everybody here that follows me and ask me, ask of you guys if you guys can help. Share this. We're going to be posting a lot of pictures of the bikes. We were, we were basically our garage was broken into as of now. It's all we've seen. They sold five motorcycles out of here. Um, we feel like it was definitely uh, an amateur kid's job or something because... If they owned a home, they knew knew where a garage door opener would be to open it internally, and they wouldn't have forced it, and uh, or they would have knew there was a line to pull it to unlock it. So clearly, they didn't know that, and they were idiots. And uh, first of all, we're idiots to go rob my shit because I'm gonna do everything in my power to try and find out who it was. So it really sucks. Is my kids? It was one of my motorcycles, but all of Connor, Caden, and Colby stuff. Um, their birthday presents, their Christmas gifts from this past two years, Connor's brand new dirt bike from this year, really sucks. Um, and I'm really just asking for everybody to share and reach out. I don't really know how else to go about doing it. Uh, I feel like the power of media was going to be the best way to try and do this. I'm not trying to exploit my f***ing personal business being robbed. I feel it's humiliating. But I feel like it's the best opportunity to try and get somebody to help out. If you guys can help, um, but we post a lot of pictures. I know you guys don't follow me and my racing stuff and Keaton or any of our stuff in order to be crime stoppers. But if you guys could help out, we would really appreciate it. Um, you know, really for these boys, they they work hard around here and they do really good academically and and uh, athletic athletically to do their job in school to be good kids to earn what they got. I was a poor kid growing up, didn't have really a whole lot of anything. It was giving the best of the best of my family and my grandma could give me and it wasn't quite what I give my kids because I wanted to have them to have better and then for these to come and take their shit, it's really fucking, excuse my friends really really um, disappointing and it sucks so um, I'm gonna post a lot of stuff uh, and I would appreciate if anybody would just share my video uh, let me know if anybody does AI or cameras here to get footage of the people, but it's very blurry, so we're trying to work through that now. The cops actually have the crime scene come, place coming here now to do all of the crime there. Uh, I guess their investigation there with all the fingerprinting. It's very involved, and I guess probably a lot more technology nowadays with that. What's also great is that um, they can do advanced um, things with technology with locations and locating people. I have a whole list of a bunch of new people that were here recently. Strangely enough, man, you um, you you meet a lot of new people when you're doing uh, contracting. I've had con new contractors here working in my house the past two weeks where different people have been here, younger and older. You never know who's at your place. That being said, I don't really know if it could have been any of them people. Um, or their friends or family just from pictures or snapchats and things like that people seeing things in the background and asking where you are so many things nowadays with media are so strong you never know who sees what but um, clearly us being on media we talk about being away because we expose our adventures and racing and we're out on the road people know we're not home obviously we're taking th th things for granted with just cameras being turned off while we're asleep at night to get a peaceful restful sleep after having a long day's racing and that can't be done that can't be had because people are smart and can take advantage so obviously friends of racers out there that do this stuff take take this in in mind that you can easily be taken advantage of while you're away if you're not if you're being laxed about the little things you normally aren't so lax about when you're home so definitely sh definitely is um um uh, disturbing man it's just really tough to see um but i feel like two of the bikes were which will be like four knocks after this broke that window climbed up on the mini split and this window was unlocked somehow and i don't understand how it was unlocked 
HVAC guys were the only ones who would have unlocked it, maybe the inner and out, never unlocked it back up. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, uh, they came in that way. They literally rolled the bikes right down through here. We have them, rolled them out the end of my driveway, down along this fence line. My neighbor over here, Greg, has a ring camera, which doesn't unfortunately have any good data on it. But they loaded them out there in the street, and there's some stuff they left behind, which we're going to be fingerprinting and getting the prints off that. So they rats just trapped them down. So obviously we're going to be looking for a truck and a trailer to take five motorcycles. Um, or a box truck, U-Haul. I mean, it could be anything like that. I mean, this kid, man, he works hard. He's, He's upset. It's Excuse my French, man. But you're coming off a, a tough break list with a break breakdown and then Caden getting the win and coming home with something bad like this. It's like, man, an up and down roller coaster of events. And um, definitely tough to deal with. Nobody wants to come home with some like this. Be honest with you, man. I've never even, we've been here 20 years and it's never been, we've never been burglarized. I got to rob my mailbox about, I don't know. Ten years ago, and I beat the shit out of him. This guy, last guy, I laid my hands on. We were burglarized in my shop, in my business, back in 2012, 2011, twice, and caught that guy and beat the shit out of him too. And I got a lot of trouble for it. And I try to leave, keep my hands off people. Man, it's so hard not to put your hands to somebody when you know they robbed you and they, uh, you know, they uh, voluntarily just uh, come and take your stuff without your permission. It's not easy to tolerate, easy to deal with. It's definitely something that's hard, it's hard to swallow. Feel just completely violated, but um, I'm not looking for pity. It, you know, hopefully our insurance covers all this stuff. We have no idea. I will be offering a reward of some sort. I don't know what yet, guys. I gotta find out what my insurance is gonna cover. But definitely, if anybody knows anybody that could be a dirt bike in the dirt bike world, I know you guys are not a lot of followers that do the dirt bike stuff. Um, but if you guys know anybody that races, Happy Ramblers is a local five-minute track away from us that's racing this weekend. I'm not sure if any of those guys could have possibly did that for that event. They literally were peeling stickers off my bikes on the way out my driveway on the grass. They're going to fingerprint those as well. So they literally were peeling off our graphics. So our graphics on our bikes are our company, C2 Crane and Tree Service, uh, C2 Concrete. Uh, they're all over all of our bikes. We have... Um, Except for Condor's brand new bike, did not, but they all have titles and paperwork. So, obviously, we're going to report those in. This police officer's here. He's waiting on his uh, his crime lab to come out. Uh, I definitely think with the power of media nowadays, you guys and everybody out here can help us find this stuff. I know Justin just went through this with his truck getting stolen last year, and I'm not sure if media helped him figure it out and helped him find it or not. But um, I would believe it probably did have an impact. So, whatever you guys can do to just please share. Um, I never asked for much for something like this. I've never been in this kind of situation. And um, I know it sounds like just maybe some easy replaceable stuff, but it's not when they're birthday and Christmas gifts and things these kids love and dear. My ki I, I dear and love race cars. And they stole one of my dirt bikes, but I don't really care about that. It's not a big deal on me on my end. Uh, you know, but them, they love their bikes and they ride them and they, and that's the, that's their tranquility outside of school and work. And that's their work, that's their fun place, and they just violated them and took their fun place away, and it's disappointing. You know, Connor, Connor rides every weekend, and they took both his bikes, and his one brand new bike was his his, his birthday present. You know, for doing really good at work, and and um, and it's just disappointing, man. Um, I haven't read any of you guys' comments yet. I'm sorry. I just kind of explaining what's going on. Uh, I don't really know where the where the crime stopping unit will take us hopefully these guys will be able to land a lot of fingerprints it looks like there's a lot of stuff all over the place and it looks like i said like it was amateurs but if anybody knows anybody share the video i'll be posting up a lot of pictures again of the bikes um a yellow or i'll just tell you the makes and models the colors so you guys know what they are uh 2000 uh connor what year is my bike oh i don't even know 2008 rmz 450 yellow uh, C covers and graphics, C2 crane tree and C2 concrete. Connors was a 2020 YZ 450 blue, bluish purple with all the same graphics. He's got a 2024 YZ 450 with, with no graphics. Mine was 09, 09 RC 450 guys. Connors was a 2024 with, um, uh, the pretty new purple, purple and white, um, uh, like, uh, I guess retro edition from back in 93. I had a buddy here, Pete McGiver, that uh, had a retro bike like that that was stolen and back in 1992 or 93, and they actually recovered it from a, a guy that everybody knew was a thief down in Randallstown a long, long time ago. So um, 
hopefully if they can find them in 1993, they can a lot easier find these guys with five bikes in 2024. And I feel like if we just cover one, recover one bike, somebody's going to know who had them or who got them or who stole them. And, you know, that reward will definitely go to that person to find out because then we can go from there. Um, I'm not a cop, but if I, I probably would have made a good cop if I ever took the occupation on had I had the, the, the high school diploma to do it. But I tell you right now, I worked hard for everything we got, and uh, nothing was handed to me, and I don't hate it being taken from me. Um, I don't, you know, appreciate, honestly, you know, it happening, but, you know, it just sucks. And I just don't want these kids being able to have to suffer now. So, again, like I said, we'll offer some sort of reward. Amy's all on board. Uh, we just got to figure out what we're insured for and where we're going to be with that. Um, Chris O'Connor, get my, oh, I appreciate that. Rob means a lot. Ah, uh, boss me up, dude. Appreciate it, man. He, uh, he rides every, every weekend, and he would appreciate that. Um, I'll leave it up to him to decide if he wants to get that. Uh, man, so, uh, I'm sorry. Appreciate it, Rob. You've been a, a good brother. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> uh, it's just emotional, man. You know, for these guys, they don't deserve it. Um. Anyway, uh, again, guys, just uh, please take in consideration whatever you guys can do to help out. Um, we'd appreciate it. Uh, I know a lot of guys out there race and they get what it's like to own nice shit and it'd be taken from them or destroyed. I know they could be out there beating these up in the middle of Baltimore City right now with the crack runners, tearing them up down there in the city. I don't know, but I don't think it was. I think it was some um, some young blood up here local that might have did it or maybe it was somebody, uh, somebody, sorry, somebody that, um, that might have been searching out one of these bikes on Marketplace. What we don't recognize, guys, when we're out here racing and doing this shit and making a name or trying to exploit our personal life on media that people see what's up well they also can see where you're at online they look you up so keep those things in mind I'm going to do my best to try and keep all my shit off all my um, personal stuff off record because people reach out to you a lot of times wondering who you are where you are can they come help out can they be a part of your program so, and can I buy, come by used tires and you give them your address you never know who the hell you're letting you come to your house See, and you never know who's searching your stuff out and, and laying eyes and and being curious what else is where else, you know. And they, they, apparently they went in my son in Caden's trailer over here too and opened a side door up. Thankfully, his truck was hooked up to that. He couldn't take it. He had his keys. So if they were looking for taking trucks and, and, and anything else, they couldn't. But it looks like they were just here for one purpose. So, um... Sorry guys, I'm reaching this. Oh, back on the bike. Sorry guys. Uh, a 2023 KX112, all graphics up. It's green. That was Colby's. And then a 2020 YZ85 blue with C2 crane tree and C2 concrete graphics all over it. Um, again, a 2009 yellow RMZ450. And then um, a 2024 uh, uh, purple and white. Uh, retro edition Yamaha's Yamaha YZ450 and um, again a 2020 YZ450 blue so I didn't mean this video to be this long and I'm not trying to be long-winded about it but I just wanted everybody to understand how passionate it is for my kids to have their motorcycles and stuff and you know like somebody come and taking your, your wedding ring or some personal nostalgic you know jewelry or something in your life that means a lot to you or from a family memory family memory or heirloom it's the same way with these guys with their bikes that's all that's all they care about you know so i appreciate everybody like please share it i'm going to post a lot of stuff up please don't get annoyed with me sharing and posting stuff on my race page i have a i have, I have a small media following but i have a big enough media following there that i think you guys can help uh, ho hopefully help out and be a part of helping find us you know who stole our stuff and um I was coming home to work on my car today and 
I just lost momentum and energy. I'm just going to focus on this. We're going to go to all the local stores and do all of our due diligence at the local stores, look into camera footage and find out where we could possibly see somebody that might have pulled in and uh, see our shit. And if you guys know anybody or if these guys are watching, you know, we're going to find you that way and we're going to definitely do our due diligence. I'm not going to stop short of that today. Hopefully these cops do their part. And anybody up here that's friends and, and that has followed us, man, I appreciate your help. If you reach out with me, I'll take your time. I'll take the time to message you back. You can PM me or DM me if you don't have my number and you're a local friend. Um, anything you know or anybody you might know or anybody that has the AI information on cameras, if you guys can message me, come on, Bella. Um, please, uh, please don't be afraid to message me, PM me directly, and or Amy, and we'll go from there. Um, and you know, by the way, thank you for everybody that came out and helped us this weekend. I know I'm talking about this, and we had a good and bad weekend. Obviously, and we really appreciate everybody that came out. It was a big part of our event down there at Maple Grove this weekend, and uh, we really appreciate everybody that helped out. Um, I'm going to field these messages in a second after I hang up with you guys. I'm not going to prolong the video with the messages, and I'll just message you guys directly. And thank you very much, and um, anybody's help will be greatly appreciated.